Check it out. We're looking at Cornroid's ships. Let's turn off my flashlight because the game was way up so I can show it to you. So I've made three fighters and then one surprise ship. And I'll show you the surprise ship in a second here. Let's uh, clear out my hotbar down here so you can only see the good stuff. Oh yeah, I've been playing this one for a while. Lance Cannon. Oh yeah, I'll show you that in the uh, Let's Play. Alright, so I got my radium goodies because I've been mining out this ridiculous rock massive thing. Anyways, so on to the ships. We'll start with the least practical, but in my opinion, the coolest looking one. This one. I like to call it the Stingray. There's the front of it right here. You can see there's the window. Um, these are meant, this is meant to be a two-person ship. The idea behind this one is it's small, it's light, it's fast. As you can see right there, the tonnage is only 33 tons, so it's, it's really small, so it can change direction very quickly. There's two guns facing backwards. The whole idea behind this ship is uh, because it's so armored back here is to get in front of enemy ships and to be chased so it's supposed to be chased it's supposed to get in front of and have enemy ships trail it and then it just blasts them to pieces see the back is most armored so it's gonna take the most hits let's go inside and check it out so the driver goes in first slides right in here this is the perfect size there's see I, yeah you can't move you're really just slapped right in here and this is what the inside looks like there's the gunner console there's the the pilot console you can reach it back here press E and we're off. We're ready to go. It's, of course, it's flyable, but I'm not going to show that off. Now I'm going to move back a little bit further here. This is where the gunner goes. There's plenty of space for two spheres, <laughs> two space spheres. So let's get the gun console, and boom. We're facing backwards. There's a little window defending the camera. And uh, there you go. Press space to fire. Pew, 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 pew. Heavy assault. And then, of course, a titanium door to defend the uh, pilots. Cool. Pretty simple not too complex. Like I said before, it's not very effective because its small size doesn't allow for many uh, generators or not much in the way of generators. So uh, you can't really put very powerful thrusters. So it's a, maybe if I made it a little bit bigger, I don't know. I'll play with it a little bit. Now this one is the most effective. This I like to call the I-wing fighter because it's, uh, or I'm sorry, the I-wing bomber because it it has wings that are shaped like eyes. The whole idea behind that is to defend the goodies inside. You see there's some nuclear thrusters here. There's two nuclear power plants inside there and then two anti-frigate guns down here. The whole idea behind this is to fly over enemy ships and then bombard them. So it's just supposed to get, it's really fast and it's actually really easy to fly because of its shape. So one pilot, boom, in here like this. Fly it around like this and uh, you know you just fly above them. You look down and you can see right there, um, actually here's the, here's the console right here, so you, you fly like this, and like I said, it's, it, it's really fast and it's really easy and very maneuverable, and it, it gets up to speed very quickly with those nuclear thrusters, and also because it's so light. And then you switch to the gun, and boom, you got these big cannons, and you just, you just blast away, so you just strafe over an enemy ship, just pounding them with these, uh, bl these blasters. And uh, again, really light, 47 TN, nice. And uh, again, maneuverable, ar pretty well armored, light, cheap, all that. Now, here's the most effective fighter. It's also the cheapest. At 31 tons, it uses very, very cheap ma materials. In fact, it's only got one nuclear generator in it. And because of its size, it's able to fit everything very nicely. This is a one-person machine. And uh, I found out that you can wire up the pilot consoles to also control guns. You can't turn them, see they only shoot straight, but at least only one person can fly it. And again, also very maneuverable. It's light size and because of the positions of the thrusters, you can uh, pilot, pilot it pretty easily. I don't know what to call this. It looks kind of like a key, so we'll call it the key ship. Okay, Armored wing to protect the, uh, the, uh, the wires going down it. So it's, it's essentially two thrusters there and then one underneath that block there facing up and down. You see that? So it causes the wing to kind of, it flies kind of like a leaf. <laughs> it's actually very easy to fly, surprisingly. And because of the, the weight difference, uh, the amount of weight that's here to here, and then the way I have the thrusters positioned. So we've got two here and then one pointing up and down here and then a big one right here. This one... Uh, and, and so when you, I have it wired up so I can control this one and this one independently so that it can fly through space straight if it wants to. Then I have these three thrusters to assist with turning to the left. Oh, I got, got, gave away a little bit of my sneak peek there. 
and so you can turn left and right very easily. So it's pretty well balanced. Then of course two heavy assault guns. All right, not too bad. I think this is my favorite. I, I put a lot of time designing this one. It looks cool. It's really small, and it's really cheap. And they could stack on each other very easily. So if you build a giant carrier frigate, you can put these guys in there and launch them out and uh, just fight. And it gets up to speed really fast. And because of its odd shape and low profile, it's hard to hit. And it's a bit unpredictable as far as the way it flies. So it's it, you know it'd be a good fighter. All right. Last but not least, the last one. For all you Halo fans out there, this should look very familiar. It is the Spirit. Well, kind of, <laughs> as best you can through uh, Corneroids. I've wired it up to, m instead of making it look the most like the g Spirit, I wanted to make it actually functional. So I, I wired it up. I just put some cheap thrusters on it. What I'm going to do is replace these with some nuclear ones so that uh, it actually is a lot more flyable. At the, p at the point right now, it's a little bit on the slow side, so... You know, I'll, I'll fly around it and show it off. You got the the scorpion tail. You've got uh, you know thrusters back here. You've got the carriers, and you've got the sec the central area where you're supposed to carry uh, uh, tanks and whatnot. Well, in this case, it's just carrying my uh, crafting stuff. So the troops go in the side arms right here, and these doors, of course, are functional, and the troops can hang out in here until the the ship lands, and then they just hop out and wah wah wah. That was my uh, best elite sound. Okay, same th same thing on the other side, obviously. Yeah, same same exact thing. Can hold quite a few troops. Okay, here's the piloting area. Go right in here. We got a big old nuclear generator. I've pre I've already prepared this. Tons of surplus because, I'm, like I said, I'm going to put on some nuclear thrusters. Here's the gun down here. Point out the bottom. Yeah, anyone who's played Halo knows how much to hate this, but here it is. Blast away at uh, the ground troops. And then the thruster at the top here, or the uh, control at the top here, just for flying this thing. Like I said, it, it's actually very easy to fly, but because these th these uh, thrusters are so slow, um, it it just it's just slow. <laughs> it's but um, I have set it up so that it can take off and land vertically because you see there's there's thrusters here, and then there's on the bottom of the ends here, so it can just simply take off vertically, um, which makes it good for planetary uh, invasion. And of course, the camera on the top here for piloting, and the camera at the bottom for gunning. But um, so there you go. There's my quick spotlight of the ships that I've been building. These I just made in one afternoon, just to show you off what some of the ideas I've been working on. And um, so yeah, leave a comment with your suggestions and your ideas. I'll make another spotlight later on, maybe with some more fighter ships, maybe with a carrier. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for joining me. Check it out. We're building spaceships in Corneroids. See you next time.